am Lynn Langett, and this is a short video to uh, show you my first experience trying out the new Wolfram Alpha Pro. So, uh, as you may know, I'm interested in big data and data visualization. So I see that it's launched, so I tried it out. It's a, uh, you know, introductory, like five bucks a month, three bucks for students, but 14 days for free. So I tried it out. So signed up, and the things that uh, I saw in here are that you can do um, text input, direct te text input for analysis. Graphical input, you can do photos, data input, file uploads. You can do this thing with extended keyboard, so you can do uh, mathematical calculations. Um, and you can uh, get extra computation time if you've got something really fancy. So um, you can also download your results, save them, and you can create these little things called widgets. Um, you have to install the player, uh, Wolfram Alpha Player. Uh, in order to do have interactivity, which I did install. So the reason I'm thinking about this is just for data visualization in general. So data visualization and search, kind of an interesting combination. But I'm also thinking of this to um, get children involved in big data and data visualization. As you know, I'm the co-founder of Teaching Kids Programming. So a couple things that I've tried out are some of the samples. So I'll just bring them up here so you can see this is the text file Alice in Wonderland. And I just thought this might be fun for kids to see um, the analysis of Alice in Wonderland and they can see inside of here um, you know, the most common words, so on and so forth, so they can see a, a statistical analysis as applied to one of their you know, fun childhood books and, and doing things like showing the heat map. One of the reasons I'm taking the time to make this video is to encourage other people to try this out and I'd really love to hear your ideas as to what you do with this new uh, pro version. Um, I think this is kind of fun. Um, the occurrences of capitalized words, so you can see the main characters, Alice, the rabbit, so on and so forth. And of course you can download this, you can see down here you can zoom, you can um, customize and save the image, uh, you can make it as plain text, and then if you download this player you can add the interactivity. Now this is not this exciting in this particular view, you know, you, you were able to do a few things in the widgets like, you know, show or hide the heat map, you know, like I was showing. But some of the other examples are a little bit more fun. So you get into this and you show um, uh, four grams and then you look at the, the different results for this and you can see the different types of charts. And again, when showing this to my 13-year-old um, daughter, you know, the, the visual aspect of this she uh, immediately responded to. Now some of the other things that are fun when you, you get into here is you not only can you look at text data or numeric data, obviously you can look at geometric data. So here we have a 30-sided polyhedron, and this talks about the geometric figure. And then this is where you really get into the fun in terms of the interactivity if you've got the player. So if you go in here and you, uh, you turn the player on, the interactivity, then of course you can um, either download this or you can actually just directly manipulate these figures. So as you're like mashing up, if you will, different types of data, it seems to me to be kind of interesting that you could do this, this search and you could, you could visualize it differently and um, have interactivity with it. So here, here it is where it's all you know, flattened. So that's kind of fun if you want to make a pattern and actually build it out with your kid. Um, here it is with skeleton images. So lots of different kind of fun things that you could do here. So then the last thing I thought was really interesting I wanted to share is I, I discovered this sample with music. So you can see here this is the C major seventh chord and inside of here you can actually play the sound. So let me see, I got this working earlier. There's the actual chord, and there's what it looks like on the keyboard. Which again, I thought was really interesting in terms of displaying the different types of information. So um, this to me looks kind of promising, and uh, I'm going to spend some more time taking a look at it, and I'm really interested to hear what the data community um, is using for data visualization in general, but in particular, if anyone else is using Wolfram Alpha Pro, what kind of interesting examples. I'm going to try and build out some widgets and things, so um, I'll be very interested to hear from everybody else what they do. So this is uh, Wolfram Alpha Pro, and uh, hopefully you enjoy it. Thank you.